Today's question is from Ron from Santa Fe. And Ron writes, you use diminished chords a lot in I've Been to Memphis by Lyle Lovett. Are you thinking diminished a half step below or a whole step above the dominant or some other system? All right, great question, Ron. So uh, first, let's play a little clip of I've Been to Memphis by Lyle Lovett. And I love a woman, what I don't know. When the sun goes down, it's another time. I'm please... All right, so you kind of got the vibe of the song. Um, you know, my rhythm part in that song is basically it's going A7 to D7, one to four, right? Right, that's kind of my basic. And that, you know, that's sort of a hybrid, it's a little bit of ragtime. It's a little bit of boogie. It's sort of a hybrid of those two styles, right? This hand, I'm doing one, seven, one, three, one, right? It's the basic rhythm. And uh, Ron's asking about diminished chords. And, uh, you know, when I go back and listen to this, they're definitely diminished chords. To be honest, when I played this, it's not where my, I was not thinking uh, diminished chords, half step below, whole step above. Um, I was just playing funky shapes on the piano to make it sound cool, which included, right? There, there's, and to answer the question, the majority of these, when I analyze it, they're half step below diminished chords. So I'm at an A7, I'm going to a, I mean, it's, it's an A diminished, so, you know, but it's half step below leading up, right? Um, and I don't generally play uh, the entire diminished chord. What it really is, is uh, that A7 voicing is one, dominant seven, three, five, right? Or three, one, right? Right, and there is the diminish. And somewhere along the line, uh, I heard other piano players playing this this kind of shape. So it's, you know, it's Leon Russell and it's Richard T. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, check them out. Funky piano players, both of them. And, you know, Richard T, he would play these. Right, and Leon Russell too, which is diminished, two minor. You know, weird minor over the major third, four, seven diminished, right? So it's just this sound, if you're in a, if you're in a dominant key, right, A7, right? It's just, it's just a, it's a rhythmic and melodic way to build some interest and, uh, and sound like you know what you're doing, right? That's an old gospel trick. Diminished diminished, right? So right there, A7, A7 over C sharp, D7, D sharp diminished leading up to the A7 over E, F diminished leading up to the F sharp minor. So and then, you know, so I've been to Memphis is it's that stuff customized to this amazing guitar riff that Lyle wrote the song with. Um, and uh, so I just kind of found my place within his guitar riff, and but that's the vocabulary that I used, was this, uh, you know, old gospel piano, Elton John, Leon Russell, Richard T, uh, hybrid uh, blues gospel piano, right? And uh, everything I do is just stuff I picked up from other people and uh, and spit it out of the Matt Rawlings computer and made something, you know, that sounds good to me. Um, right, so that's part of his guitar lick. And I sort of, uh, I hopped onto that guitar lick by doing what Ron's talking about, a little diminished, right? right? One, two minor over one. And it, it's sort of diminished, but it's really like a flat three, like a C minor chord. But it happens so quick that you don't really hear it. All right? The thing about these kind of songs is um, it's all about the feeling. So if you notice when I play these, I'm always, I'm always pounding my foot. And I've talked about this in other videos. 
this kind of music is, it's not about being in your head and deciding what notes to play. It's about being in your body and feeling the music. And honestly, I, as long as you don't hang out too long on weird notes, you can play anything. Right? <laughs> Thing. If it feels good, it's going to go over. So, um, so that kind of. I mean, that's a that's kind of a dissonant sounding uh, piece of music, but in context, it's great. <laughs> Diminished, yes. Um, not necessarily how I approach the song, but that definitely is uh, is what came out. So. Really great question. I hope I helped and I hope I answered your question. And we'll see you soon.